What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kai. I am a 25 year old living here in New York City. I just recently graduated from nursing school as well. And New York City is a really expensive city to live in to say the least. So I wanna show you guys exactly how much I spend on food alone in a week here without any transportations or rent, nothing else. Monday through Sunday and at the end of the week, I'll count up the exact amount and show you guys the total. To make things simple, I'll show you a receipt for each day on what I purchased and how much. And if I cook at home using groceries that I already have, I'll make sure to put like a slash mark and then come back to the end of the video to count it up at the end. Otherwise, if it's groceries that I went out to specifically buy, I'll make sure to include the prices as well. Yeah, let's get started with Monday. So for breakfast, I like to keep it super light and healthy. I hate feeling heavy from the get-go. So we made three ingredient pancakes with bananas, eggs, and rolled oats. And then also we sauteed some random veggies we had in the fridge like mushrooms, onions, and bell peppers. And then once the pancakes were ready, we set it down with some fresh strawberries and also strawberry syrup, which is so, so good, guys. Like it has a little tart to it. Oh my God, chef's kiss. And then look at my girlfriend's dog just waiting for his portion of the bite. And then we also watched our favorite show for the time being called Shogun on FX. And then around noontime, I headed to a cafe in Brooklyn called Passion Fruit. They had some like cool bird art on the wall too. And I was here to study for my nursing exam. When I study, I need sugar. So I got me a blueberry olive oil lemon cake for $6 and also ordered a hoji cha, which was also another $6. It was lemony, it was tart, and a huge chunk of blueberry, but still not sure if it was worth the price. And watching our show, Shogun from this morning, inspired our dinner for tonight. We kept the Japanese and cooked up Zaru Udon noodles, which is a cold dipping Udon noodles into a special like soy sauce slash ponzu sauce. And also homemade rock shrimp, which we bought panko for and breaded it and threw it in the air fryer. But I can guarantee you the noodles were absolutely hitting with that sauce. Oh. So good. Not too crazy on our tempura because it ended up becoming too much breading and batter over the actual shrimp. And since this was a spontaneous dinner, we had to go and buy the panko, the raw shrimp, udon, and for the udon sauce, mirin and beef stock. Tuesday morning, I caught up with my friend Tezong and went to a little bakery cafe called Hokkaido in K-Town where they had this crazy croissant square filled to the brim with cream inside and it exploded onto my chin. And then we tried their red bean taiyaki, which was kind of mid. I think we have high standards for Korean pastries. So we tried the sweet potato one filling instead. And this one was a lot better. Then we decided to walk over to where Tezong works. It's a lounge slash cafe here in K-Town. And he made me a hot and lovely hibiscus tea that just hit the spot, offset the sugar we just had. And now this gives me enough energy to start working. And later, Tezong invites me down to get some free employee lunch that he snuck me into. Here we get soba noodle salad with fish cakes, potato cream croquet, kimchi pork belly stew. Oh my God, this was the absolute highlight. You could just tell that the kimchi they used to make the stew was just ripe. They fermented it perfectly and it was the perfect combination of sour, but salty, but still like fatty from the pork belly. Oh, just perfection. Later on, I went to a cafe near NYU to get some more studying done and ate a cinnamon raisin bagel on the side as well. Then I started getting the munchies, so I headed over to H Mart to get a simple kimbap with beef and everything else in it and walked home to eat it at my desk. <laughs> much reminding of my college dorm days. Uh, for the price I paid for this kimbap, I was kind of expecting it to be a little bit better, but it has been sitting out there for a while, so understandable. It's Wednesday morning and I came out to Jersey to get my teeth cleaned. Loki was feeling a bit nervous, so I went to a nearby Italian cafe where they didn't even have a menu and it was cash only, very simple. Ordered a pound cake and chamomile tea, which paired really well together. And the best part all, it was $5 for the entire thing. So cheap, very different from New York City. I loved it. For some reason, I always get anxious with dental procedures, so afterwards, I brought my friends along to get some hearty curry. I needed the emotional support, okay? We ordered curry udon, curry katsu, Korean blood sausage, and spicy rice cakes. This was actually such a filling meal. I ended up getting food coma and did not eat anything the rest of the day. The bill was a lot more than we expected it to be, but we still split it three ways, and it's it was still a bit pricey, but I deserved it because I got over my fears with dentists. 
For some reason, all of Thursday, I just felt under the weather and just super tired. So I didn't really eat much throughout the whole day up until dinner. We just took some random stuff in the fridge like soba noodles, spinach, and mushrooms. But we also instacarted hamachi just to get some protein in. It wasn't like the craziest meal, but it did get the job done and give me food for my tiredness. Oh, and I forgot I made miso soup, which was actually really good. <laughs> I'm not the best at cooking. I've been looking for online cooking courses I could take. And thanks to Skillshare, I think I finally found one. Basically, Skillshare is an online resource full of classes for food, film, art, music, and so much more. It allows you to invest yourself in the new goals, and for me, that's cooking. So I'm taking a class called Cooking for Beginners, Easy and Fun Cooking Essentials course, as well as Expand Your Cooking Skills to Prepare Dishes with Style course. And not only this, since I've been wanting to be more productive and on top of things, I've been exploring the productivity learning path like bullet journaling, life management for creatives course that have been excellent for me to take. Using the learning path provided by Skillshare, I could take hand-picked classes that are taken in order and built on one another so I can experience the learning development of whatever topic I choose. So if you're looking to reinvent yourself or even pick up a new hobby, Skillshare is letting the first 500 people use my link and get a one month free trial. So what are you waiting for? Check out Skillshare today. For dessert, we got a little bit of sweet tooth and ordered three different places. Carrot cake, rice pudding, mocha vegan ice cream, and coconut sago with fruit. The rice pudding was a little bit weird to me, so I didn't really like it, but the coconut sago and the ice cream was just as good as usual. Friday morning, we visited the Lunar New Year Parade in Chinatown with lots of cool floats and a huge dragon. But also we were stuck there because there's just so many people. But what we did manage to get was the famous Melee Wa Chinese Bakery roasted pork bun. And it is the juiciest bun you ever eat. The outside is like golden cookie crust, but on the inside is like this warm fatty pork belly. Oh my God, guys, 10 out of 10. But the best part is it's only 375. What? Later on that evening, I actually volunteered to cook at a kitchen that my friend Tezong is connected with. And everything from cooking on a walk to making broth and holding a giant slab of meat. It was really fun actually. So his boss rewarded us with dinner on the house with kimchi stir fry with pork belly, short rib stew, as well as peeping bob. And oh my god, the meat was just fall off tender on this bone, guys. It was so amazing. And it tasted even better because of the hard work we put in. And on top of that, it was free. <laughs> For Saturday evening, dinner was the first meal I had because my best friends from Texas were visiting for his birthday. And so of course we had to celebrate with green rice wine with soju and Sprite. And trust me guys, this drink is dangerous. It will creep up on you. To offset some of the alcohol, we got beef scallion hot pot, fish cake soup, and also beef tartare. So the check came out to be pretty fat with all the food plus all the alcohol, which was, it was $70 per person. But hey, it was his birthday, so it was still worth it. And surprisingly enough, the eating didn't stop there. We took it back to our friend's house and kept eating more. We ordered Korean blood sausage and also Korean blood sausage stew, which both came out to be $40 total. Yes, Korean food is very expensive out here. And it was shared around all of us. I was trying to eat it, but my girlfriend kept stealing from me as well as my friends. <laughs> but it was so funny. Sunday morning, my girlfriend and I were super hungover, so we wanted something warm and hearty. So we ordered beef and shredded pepper noodle soup, which was so good, I felt it just sucking up all the alcohol in my stomach. And of course, we had to get soup dumplings, which the broth was just filled to the brim inside, and it completely imploded when I bit into it. And to offset the heat, I got me a sweet melon boba tea. And the price wasn't too bad once we split the bill in half. I actually didn't end up eating anything until dinner. My body was just not having it. <laughs> so I wanted something super, super healthy and with lots of vegetables. So we went to the market to buy Thai basil, avocados, and rice paper, and use what we had in my girlfriend's fridge to make fresh summer rolls. And this was such a great reset for my body because it just needed some good nutritional content. All right guys, so you made it to the end of the video and I just did my math. And one week living in New York City, paying for food, I spent about $271.58. 
that's just on food alone. But then also groceries, I spend about $500 a month average, and then we're gonna divide that by four, and I spend about $125 weekly on groceries alone. So we're gonna add the grocery amount to the amount I spend on food this week, 125, and in total, I spend about $396.58 per week on food plus groceries. That's actually a lot. <laughs> That means per month, I'm spending around $1,586 on food. Okay, also, mind you, like, this week was really, like, I spent a lot more than I would because my best friends were in town for a birthday. So yeah, guys, if you ever plan on moving to New York City, make sure you have enough saved up. And this is just, I guess, part of living in the city. I hope this video was educational and very profound as much as it was for me. <laughs> But uh, anyways guys, thank you so much for watching. I'm gonna do a lot more on budgeting later. I'll see you in the next video.